In this video, I am going to show you the benefits of using a telephoto lens when photographing at sunset. Now we all love those uh, big sky sunsets, you know, when you've got that flaming skies like the whole sky is on fire. But it doesn't always pan out that way. And the reason is, to get those big flaming skies, you need the right kind of cloud. You need some scattered, broken high cloud just floating above where the, the, when the sun goes down over the horizon or behind the mountains. Typically what happens is then that that cloud is then lit from below by the warmth of the sun. As the sun goes down, the, the color temperature gets very, very warm. And when it lights it from below, and it just illuminates all that broken cloud and it all is almost like it catches fire. It's incredible. But as I say, you need certain conditions for that. And sometimes there can be no cloud at all. There's not much cloud around. And on the horizon here now, we've got some cloud, but it's not really that broken. And it's also quite thick. So you can even see that the sun now is just above the mountains and the cloud itself is not really catching that much color because I think it's quite thick. So when that happens, you're not going to get those big flaming skies. So what do we do? Well, that's where we can use a telephoto lens. Because even then, when the sun goes down over the horizon or down over the mountains, there is some color focused around where the sun is, or usually on the horizon itself, there can be some color there, but there won't be any color higher in the broader areas of the sky. So you can use a telephoto lens to zoom in close and compress your picture into that area where the color is. So let's see how that's done. Let me show you an example. So it's sunset right about now. The sun is just caressing the horizon. As you can see over there, there's really not a whole lot of color. The cloud is mostly blue up there, that high cloud up there. It hasn't really got much color, but there's a tiny bit of subtle color right down on the, just above the mountain. That mountain peak there is Mount Tr uh, Triglav. This is the highest peak in Slovenia, actually. So just above that mountain peak there, there's a little bit of color and a little bit of color in the clouds, but not much. If we look now through my screen, I'll show you. You can see how it looks. I got a, a, a three stop grad on there to try and darken down the sky and brighten the foreground a bit. But still, it's given a bit of a, um, I've got the white balance set to shady to help bring out some of the color a bit. And it, the, the clouds above are kind of a, have a more purplish hue, you know, they're not really that red. But the area above the mountain you can see is nice and red. So when we're pulled back, we just get too much of that dull sky above. So the great thing about the, the telephoto, and I'm gonna zoom from 100 to 400 now, right in, to where that mountain peak is. There we go. Now you can see now how I've managed to get a nice composition with lots of color from the sunrise now. So by going in super close like that, I'm now at 400 millimeter focal length. So going in really nice and close, I've managed to isolate the area where all that color is. I've got a 16 by nine crop. Can adjust my exposure down a touch. Two seconds, F16, ISO 200. And there's the shot. Now I can move over a bit. There's a nice little bit of cloud drifting in to the side there now. Actually, this is a nicer composition. That's 3.2 seconds F16. Now you can see how I've isolated 
the area above the mountain where there's a little bit of color. It's not much, it's subtle. No? So you can see, just as I predicted, there's no flaming sunset. That cloud is too thick, it's too condensed, it's not broken at all, and it's not really catching any of the color. Even over where the, the sun has gone down over there, I'll show you, hold on. So now you can see over there, again, there's not really that much color. But if we go right in close, now the little mountain over there is called Mount Krim. And again, still at 400 millimeters, I can go right in close to that mountain and capture some nice color. Again, right above it's blue, that most of that cloud is quite black, it's quite dark but right above the mountain peak, that little bit of cloud there has some nice color. I can include a little bit of that dark bit at the top in the composition too. So you can see now how I've gone in close. Now I can adjust upwards like this, get a nice composition, include that little bit of that dark cloud, but mostly the area of red where the where the sun has gone down. Now that's nice, and that's with the tele, that's a 400 millimeters. So I've gone right in close and isolated that colorful area in the sky and got rid of all of that boring blue and dark uh, areas in the sky to make a nice sunset shot. There you go, I'll stick that one up there now too. Now I'll swing back round to my uh, mountain peak. Oh, there's a nice composition now. It's getting darker. Again, not a huge amount of color, but still managing to get the most of it with the telephoto lens. Now I'll do some long exposures and see, what, see how they come out. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please give this video a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and check out my other videos and I'll stick the best long exposure up at the end of this video. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.